Good afternoon, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on the physiology of a denervated heart. Causes of cardiac denervation includes heart transplantation, cardiac denervation procedures, for example as a treatment for arrhythmia such as VT, and neuropathy from diabetes mellitus, Parkinson's disease, Holmes Eddy syndrome, etc. Denervation of a transplanted heart. Heart transplant involves the removal of the diseased heart, transaction of the aorta and the main pulmonary arteries, the cardiac plexus is interrupted, and the heart is partially denervated after heart transplantation. A transplanted heart retains the recipient's innervated sinoatrial node and the donor's denervated sinoatrial node. The recipient atrium remains innervated but does not cause significant hemodynamic effects as conduction does not occur across the atrial suture line. The donor atrium is denervated and is responsible for the electrophysiologic responses of the transplanted heart. As there are two SA nodes, the ECG often contains two P waves. Intrinsic control mechanisms of the denervated heart is retained, such as the frank starling mechanism, intact alpha and beta adrenoceptor responses to circulating catecholamines in the form of increased heart rate and contractility, impulse formation and conductivity, coronary autoregulation. Preganglionic denervation Cardiac transplantation surgery results in postganglionic denervation. However, preganglionic denervation occurs in spinal cord injury, shy Drager syndrome, and other conditions. This leaves some reflexes intact. Autonomic denervation. Both sympathetic and parasympathetic efferent and efferent neurons are lost in a transplanted heart. This results in loss of effects from a direct neuronal supply such as anginal pain. Myocardial disease is thus asymptomatic. Sympathetic denervation. The heart still responds normally to circulating catecholamines. However, this humoral response has a relatively slow onset of a few minutes and heart rate increases slowly in response to circulating catecholamines. The SA node is dependent on direct stimulation by endogenously released catecholamines in the absence of control via neural mechanisms. The denervated heart is unable to respond acutely to hypovolemia or hypotension with reflex tachycardia. Increases in stroke volume is the primary mechanism in which a denervated heart copes with shock in response to circulating catecholamines. The response to exogenous catecholamines is delayed as well. Thus, denervated hearts are preload dependent, i.e. maintaining an adequate stroke volume is paramount in sustaining cardiac output in these patients. Parasympathetic denervation Residual vagal activity associated with the vestigial recipient right atrium may be present. Vagal effects are absent. Drugs that have muscarinic action such as neostigmine, carbacol, betanacol, pilocarpine, and nicotine do not cause bradycardia. Vagolytic drugs such as atropine and glycopyrrolate do not cause tachycardia. Absence of vagal tone results in a higher heart rate amongst denervated hearts, typically at 100 beats per minute. Vagal bradycardic reflexes will be absent, such as that caused by laryngoscopy, hypertension, and carotid sinus massage. Normal respiratory variations or response to Valsava maneuvers are absent. Starling mechanism The myocardial response to stress is maintained. Contractility and cardiac output rises in response to any rise in left ventricular and diastolic volume. Hypovolemia should be treated promptly in these patients. The cardiac output of a transplanted heart varies with changes in preload and afterload appropriately as a normal heart. However, denervation of the heart impairs the response to changes in cardiac filling pressures as well as the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Drug effects on a denervated heart This table summarizes the drug effects on a denervated heart. Atropine accelerates the recipient's atrial rate but has no effect on the donor's sinus rate which now controls the heart rate. Isoproteranol is a pure beta agonist. It increases the recipient and donor sinus rate via direct action. 
Increase of the donor sinus rate is almost double that of the recipient sinus rate. Contractility increases. Hyperreactivity of the transplanted heart to beta cardiac stimulation may result in exaggerated responses to usual doses of catecholamines. Noradrenaline is an agonist at the alpha and beta receptors of the intact heart and vessels. At the recipient sinoatrial node, noradrenaline causes slowing of the recipient's atrial rate through vagal feedback as blood pressure rises. Noradrenaline increases the donor sinus rate, contractility increases. For adrenaline, contractility and heart rate increases, hyperactivity of the transplanted heart to beta cardiac stimulation occurs. Beta blockers slow the sinus rate of both recipient and donor sinoatrial nodes. Beta blockade also decreases the exercise capacity of the denervated heart by decreasing its response to circulating catecholamines. There is a decreased beta response to the chronotropic effects of noradrenaline and isoproteranol. Methosamine and nitrite Methosamine is a pure alpha agonist and amyl nitrite is a potent vasodilator via nitrous oxide actions. Methosamine induced hypertension and nitrite induced hypotension fail to induce bradycardia or tachycardia respectively, therefore the barrel receptors are not operant in the transplanted heart. For digoxin, contractility increases but there is minimal effect on the heart rate. Quinidine does not have vagolytic effects. Verapamil causes atrioventricular block via direct effects. The heart rate shows minimal response to drugs such as pancuronium, anticholinergic such as atropine, glycopyrrolate, and scopolamine, choline esterase inhibitors such as neostigmine, adrophonium, pyridostigmine, and physostigmine, digoxin, no reflex tachycardia occurs with nifedipine, hydralazine, and nitroprusside, no reflex bradycardia occurs with phenylephrine. Reinnervation of a transplanted heart. Cardiac denervation is unavoidable after heart transplantation, and reinnervation, if present, is partial and incomplete. Some studies demonstrated re innovation within a year after transplantation, leading to symptoms of angina pectoris and vasovagal episodes, and even cardiac arrest after neostigmine administration. These are my references. Thank you.